Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and do our fourth assignment. So, uh, let's see here. Let's just start here. Download the zip file. So let me click on that. I'll open it up in my Finder or Windows Explorer if I was on a Windows machine. Uh, here it is, it looks like it already unzipped it. On a Windows machine, you'll have to select the folder and then up here, there'll be like an extract all button or something. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set these windows side by side so that I can just drag this on top of this. Okay. Now, you might want to put this into your folder with all your other code, um, but it should have its own folder uh, inside of the Lesson 4 folder that you have. Okay. So um, I can delete that now and I can just close this. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like. So I'm just going to click in here and hit Open Live Server um, so that we can see what this looks like. So it looks okay. Um, I'm going to hit inspect and I'm just going to watch what happens as I change um, this this screen width to see how it changes. Um, I can see I'm not really liking that cat body types thing there but that's okay. Um, and then the nav bar is also looking pretty bad as we get smaller. Um, okay so we got a good idea of what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these developer tools open. I'm going to use them a little bit. Um, okay, so it says add a CSS media query, an appropriate style so the web page looks like this, or looks like the screenshot below when printed. Specifically, the header, navigation, and footer should be hidden, and the sidebar should display under the main content, the, that cat body types thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. So if I want to add a print um, CSS media query, uh, let me show you guys how we do that. So. Uh, all of our styles are in here, and at the very bottom, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to add a comment here that says print styles, and then underneath here, we are going to do at media print. So with other CSS media queries that we've done, uh, we say, you know, like media, if the max width is a thousand pixels, then we'll do something. For this, we're just going to say, hey, if the media is to print it, um, then if the user tries to print this page, we want to change a couple of things, okay? Um, so first off, let's start off, let's go ahead and take the padding off of the body. So I'm just going to say padding uh, is zero pixels. Okay. Um, and again, this will just show up when it's printed. So if I look up here on the body, let's see if I can find the body here. Okay. So there's nothing there. That's good. All right. So next one that we're going to want to do is um, change the header. Okay. So, and we actually want to make it so that the header, navigation, and footer are hidden. Actually, I don't think we need this body one here. So, um, so let's do this. I'm going to say uh, we have this footer, so I'm going to copy that. And I want this style to apply to the header also, so I think we have a header in here. We do. We have a header ID, and we have a navigation ID. And we want all of those to be hidden, so I'm going to copy this navigation one also. So we have footer, header navigation and we want some styles to apply to all three of these and we want to say display none okay so it's as simple as that if we if we put the display none attribute on there it should hide it when we print now i can test this um, so here's my awesome bears website i'm gonna refresh it just to make sure that we have the right code i should be able to click on sources see style and see that i do have my print style right there with the display none make that a little bigger there we go okay so I'm going to right click on here and hit print and we should see uh, the header navigation and footer go away. Let's see if it works. And it did. They're gone. Okay. We don't have a header. We don't have a footer and we don't have the navigation. So that's great. Um, let's see what else we have to do for the print. The sidebar should display underneath the main content. Interesting. Okay. So um, let me just look at what this main content looks like. So I'm just going to click there. Uh, idea of content. And then we have an idea of a side. So those are the two that I'm going to want to mess with here. So let's go back to VS Code. Um, so that worked. And then let's go ahead and say content is going to be, uh, let's say the width is going to be 100%. Okay. And then we'll say margin right is zero pixels. Okay. Just to make sure that it's taken up all that space go up here and look at content. Let's see, where is content? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what our original styles were. We're going to go ahead and overwrite those for printing. 
okay? And then let's work on a side as well, that other ID that we saw. Again, remember that we're using these little number signs because they are IDs. If they were classes, we'd use a period. Okay, so for the aside, uh, we're gonna say, let's actually just look at what aside looks like. So currently it's floating right, width is 33%. It's got some padding on top and bottom. Um, it's got margin on the right, and display is inline. So let's fix that. We're just gonna say float is none. Uh, we're gonna say display instead of inline. We're gonna say display is blocked, which will basically add a new line to it. Um, and then we'll also say uh, page break inside, and we'll say avoid. I wanna make sure that there's no breaking involved um, and that it looks, that it shows up underneath here. So now if I right click on here and hit print, let's see if it worked. Yeah, there it is, underneath, that's perfect. Okay, sweet. So there's our print styles that we need. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next step. So ours looked pretty much exactly the same as that. Next one, add a CSS media query and appropriate styles so that the web page looks like the screenshots below when, sim when resized to smaller widths. Specifically, the sidebar should be hidden. The, the body should have no padding. The images should exceed the width, should not exceed the width of the window. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. Um, so I'm gonna open this up um, and then I'm gonna make another comment here that just says um, small phones. Okay, um, and then in here, we are gonna have to change a few things. So VS Code is suggesting that to me, uh, but this is gonna be a small phone, and so I wanna set, um, right here it says 470 and 320. I'll go ahead and say for a width that is 450. For a max width of 450, um, we'll go ahead and do something that said no padding for the body. Oh, whoops. So we'll say padding is zero. All right, and then for the header, um, let's go ahead and change that a little bit as well. So we'll say header, we'll say the position is fixed. And then we'll say, we'll make sure that it's up at the top. So we'll say zero pixels, uh, left zero pixels, uh, width we'll make 100%, and the height we'll say is 35 pixels. Okay, because if we look over here, uh, we want it to look like that. Take off 100%. Um, so, okay. Um, images shouldn't exceed the width of the window. Um, aside, we don't want to have show up. Notice that it's hidden there. So let's go ahead and fix that one. So we'll say aside. And we did that last time with the print as well. We'll say display is none. Okay. Um, let's keep on going. We'll say the navigation. Let's fix that, so I'll say the navigation ID. We'll go ahead and give that um, a margin top of 75 pixels. Okay, um, I also forgot, right here, I'm also gonna put for the content, for the entire content, uh, let's go ahead and put a width of 100% to make sure that it really fills up um, our screen. So let's just see what it looks like up to this point. Uh, I'm gonna just hit this icon, and I don't want, wow, it's really zoomed out. None of that's working, so let me refresh this here. Interesting. Um, what happens if I just go like this? Okay, so our side stuff did disappear at 450. Uh, it looks like our header is taking up that content nicely. Okay, uh, let's keep on going. So I wanna change um, these, I want them to actually to be able to stack uh, because that looked really bad. Um, so within this navigation, let's also say navigation, uh, but we'll say for the LI of the UL, we're gonna do something for every single one of those. And we're just gonna say display block. Again, just like we did display block earlier, it made something kind of show up underneath it. It basically adds a line break to the whole element. This will pop those LIs to, to basically stack. Okay, um, let's do another one. We'll say navigation, UL, LI, A, because each one of our navigations has that A, and we're just gonna say float none. Okay, let's see what this looks like. If I make this smaller, you can see they stacked. Okay, that looks much, much better on mobile. Okay, that's awesome. All right, uh, let's keep on going. The last thing that I wanna change is just this image um, it does not 
it's not responding at all to this. So uh, down here, I'm just gonna say, hey, for our images, uh, let's go ahead and say width is 100%. Let me save that. And let's refresh it. And there, that looks a little bit better. Okay, now it's actually resizing a bit. Okay, obviously there's still some things that I wanna change, but it should look really similar um, to this. You can see it's taking up that 100% space right there, even though there's a little bit of padding on the left. Okay. Um, and let's see here. And I think that should take care of all of that too. So if I look at this and it's a little bit bigger, let's see. So 320 wide and 240 wide. We are good with both of those. Okay. That looks great. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Stretch challenges. Think of another way to make this look better. So let's see the cat body types is on top of the image. That's awful. Okay. Uh, I want to have that break right about there. So we'll say like 650 maybe. Leave a little bit of space. Okay. So let's come back over here. Um, and then I'm just going to add another one of these. So this says max width of um, 450. I'm just going to add, uh, we, we can say like tablet right here. Um, tablet devices. And we'll say, um, we don't want 768, we'll do 650 because that's what we saw. Okay, and then uh, where was that? I'm pretty sure it was the aside. So I'm just gonna copy this for a sec and I'll put it down here. We don't we don't want it to be gone. We just want it to show up underneath, kind of like it did for the print. Um, so let's see if that works. Okay, I'll make sure that that's refreshed and this should show up underneath and it's about working. Um, oh, it worked at some point. Look at that. That's interesting. It disappeared. It's down there below. But it didn't do it at 650. That's interesting. Uh, let's try to change the order of this. I wonder if that would make a difference. So I put, if I put this at the bottom, and I'll hit refresh. Yeah, it's not doing it at 650. Interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and try to make this um, a little bit bigger. I wonder what would happen if we just put 750. Sometimes these styles are a little bit finicky and it just takes a little bit of trial and error. So that actually looks pretty good. Even though it's, it doesn't look like 750 to me, let's say 730. Just go in and break, perfect. So that looks good to me, right? That's one thing that I um, am happy changing. All right, um, and then this whole thing, I don't like how it's like hanging on the left-hand side of the screen. So this div content, um, at that 750 mark, I want it to take up the full width of the screen. So I'm also gonna say content width 100%. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, so our paragraphs got nice and big. Um, looking at this, I see some padding right here. Oh, it's margin. So we have margin left of 27.569. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, let's set this to 90 and then we'll just say uh, margin auto and 5%. Okay, so I'll just say auto on top and bottom, 5% uh, on both sides. Okay, and so again, that, that's looking quite a bit better to me. Okay, it's actually looking, yeah, much better. Just a couple little changes makes a big difference. Okay, this image, I wanna set that to 100% also. So for our image, again, this is with the tablet, uh, right there we'll say width um, is 100%, but I actually want it to be 90%. And we can do the same. Actually, I'll just say for content and image, we'll go ahead and make it be width 90% and margin auto 5%. And look at that, oh, that, that was just gorgeous. Look at that, it's fantastic. Okay, let's fix the mobile. Actually, mobile looks okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's my change. Um, but anyways, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, if Let me just show you guys our final code here. So we didn't change any of this. The only thing we added was our print styles to make it look nice when we print. Um, here's our small phone uh, rules. We changed the body, header, aside, content, navigation, and the image, okay? And then here we added this for a little stretch challenge to make it look better on tablet. And you'll notice that some of this also um, overlapped into the mobile. Okay. 
uh, because like right here, this wasn't overridden in mobile. And so if I take this out, look at what this looks like in mobile. Let's make this nice and small, let me refresh. Oh, it actually isn't changing it. Okay, you see how that's not centered anymore? And it's not centered in mobile either. Okay, but as soon as I put that back in, that is now centered, even in mobile, because we didn't override it in mobile. It still kept that margin auto 5% in mobile and tablet. Everything smaller than 730, because we didn't override it right here. So, okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope this helped. If you guys, if you guys have any questions, just let me know.